I'm Dr. Niels Vollert and I'm a lecturer at the University of Bath. Pembrotrol is a, what we call a beta adrenergic agonist. Um, these drugs are usually used for treating asthma. Uh, it has a whole range of functions, but the relevant one here is that it's uh, a bronchodilator. It relaxes smooth muscle, which makes breathing easier, which is useful for uh, asthmatics. Now, there's a whole range of different functions that this drug uh, has. Um, it is, it's a stimulant, so it stimulates the central nervous system. Um, it uh, affects lipolysis, which means that it releases um, fat for use as energy. And that can be very useful um, for endurance athletes. Um, the, the main um, function that this drug has that makes it interesting for athletes though is that it's an anabolic drug. So it stimulates uh, protein synthesis, uh, so you can gain lean mass. Um, that's also the reason why clambuterol is used uh, a lot in uh, rearing livestock. Um, it gives you more lean meat. Um, so for someone like Contador, the uh, potential reason to take it is to increase strength uh, by, by gaining lean mass. Uh, you can take clambuterol in, in, in different ways. You can inhale it or you can ingest it. Um, that will be easily taken up into the bloodstream. Um, once it's there, the half-life is, uh, is relatively long. So how long it takes for it to, uh, uh, to leave the bloodstream. Uh, this may take up to uh, one or two days, so, so it's, it's relatively easily detectable, especially since uh, if you want to have any use from uh, clambuterol, you'll, you'll have to take it for, uh, for a longer period, just a one-off, it's not going to do you any good. So for Contador to uh, have taken this drug willingly during the tour, this is very unlikely. You have to take this drug for a longer duration and the amount that you have to take uh, to have any effect is much higher than the amounts that will have led to the positive uh, urine sample that was taken um, of him uh, for just a one day. He was tested the days before, days after, uh, there were no traces found, so it, it will have been a one-off. Um, there is a possibility that he's taken blood doping, uh, where blood was taken from him uh, several months previously. Uh, if he was taken clambuterol before that, then there's a, a possibility that there's traces um, uh, uh, that, that you can pick up after he's taken the blood doping on that specific day. Um, but because you can um, take up clambuterol uh, from food sources and clambuterol is used in livestock rearing um, quite frequently, there is a definite possibility that uh, that his story of uh, of eating um, contaminated meat is, is correct. So it is very unlikely that he took uh, clambuterol during the tour to get ergogenic effects. It won't have helped his performance if he took it during the tour at those doses. If he took it during training several months before in the preseason, then it, it may have increased his muscle strength, muscle mass helped him uh, train at higher uh, intensities and that will have a prolonged effect. It may, it may increase his, uh, well, the rate at which he, he gained his, his fitness in the preseason. Uh, whether that's the case, we don't have enough research to, to be able to say whether it has an effect like that. Mm -hmm.